Hello friends and welcome to Let's Play Kim.com Prison Break. I'm your host, Magic Mad Mo. Kim.com, the owner of Mega Upload, has been arrested by the FBI and sent to a maximum security prison where his life is in danger. You'll be Charlie.com, Kim's brother, and will have to perform a dangerous plan to get him out of there. This is Inca Games Round 2, The Inkening, the series where we go through and replay every Inca Games game that has ever gamed game in an Inca ever before. <laughs> Nailed it. And this is the next one on my list. We're playing from the oldest to the newest. It's a point and click adventure game of the Inca Games variety. If you're new to this channel or series, you'll pick up on it real quick. It's just a bunch of internet point and click games. If you're not new, you already knew all of that. Here we go, Kim.com Prison Break. I still don't know who he is. I don't know anything about Mega Upload or Kim.com or any anything like that. I still don't know. I didn't know the first time I played this and I don't know now. This is in New Zealand, apparently. It's almost time for my favorite series, The Big Bang Theory. Oh God, oh Lord. Oh, okay. FBI, don't move a finger, Kim.com. You're under arrest. He came out of the TV, everybody. Under what charges? For crushing repeatedly your bathroom scale and some other minor fi felonies such as informatic piracy and money laundering. Oh boy. He was official shut down mega upload and arrest Kim.com. Mega Uploads founder, the eccentric Kim.com, was arrested in his mansion located in New Zealand, charged with. Okay. They got my brother! <laughs> they did it! They did the thing! This can't be! I have to go see him. This one has quite a bit of story to it. Auckland Prison. Okay, we need to we need to get our get our, our bro our brosif our broheim out of there. A guard there's a guard. I don't think we're gonna punch the guard. Let's speak to the guard. Good afternoon now, officer. What do you want? I, uh, I bet this job is, is a handful of boredom and misery, am I right, man? You're right. Then why do, why, why do you do it? Well, apparently my vast knowledge in soap operas and sitcoms does not qualify me for any other job. Oh, that's a shame, I guess. Wow. Whew. Yikes. Well, uh, I'm here to see Kim.com. Are you related to him? Yes, I'm his brother. Okay, you can pass, but don't take too long. Oh, thanks. That was easier than I thought. I don't even know what the third option was. Hi, Kim. Oh, we're sad. Charlie, I'm glad to see you, brother. Is it true what they say? Piracy? Money laundry? It's all a setup, Charlie, I swear. Uh, they did this because of the new website for music download at very low prices we were about to launch. That would have killed the record companies. That's why I'm shy. That's why I'm here. You swear. Brother, I'd never lie to you. Here, Kim. What is that, an origami bird? The paper crane. You kept it all this time. I still remember when I gave this to you. Uh, Kim, now that Mom is gone, promise me we will always take care of each other. Don't worry, Charlie. Brothers always help each other, no matter what. Here, I don't know who these people are. <laughs> what is it? A paper crane. It symbolizes the strong bond that keeps us together. No one can break. Apparently. But now that we are alone, will everything be okay? Charlie, never lose faith. And since then, I've got it with me. I keep it in my back pocket. As to the topic we're dealing with, I've read in the newspapers you are being extradited to the U.S. in a few weeks. I don't think something or other. Some lawyers tell me you're sure to be put away for life. That's unfair. I'm innocent. <laughs> Calm down, Kim. Everything is gonna be okay. We brothers are here to help each other. What do you mean? I can only say you should never lose faith, brother. Brother, we're gonna break you out of there. <laughs> I gotta go. I'll see you soon. Thanks for coming, brother. I won't just sit and do nothing. I've gotta help my brother escape. Apparently. I feel like, I feel like I, I wonder, I wonder when this game came out, would it have been considered political? I have no idea. We've got 500 bucks, a plan to get into the prison, obtain the prison blueprints, get a tattoo of the blueprints and other hints, and get myself arrested. We have to get ourselves arrested. There's a teleporter. Well, I'm not ready to go get ourselves teleported just yet. I need to get this access card. Sure, I've got, I don't know what it goes to, but I've got it. Anything in the couch? Dude, not anything in the couch. I'm just taking an entire cushion with me. Yeah, we'll just slap that in the back pocket where I used to keep my paper uh, crane since we don't have to clutter our pockets with that piece of garbage anymore. Let's go to this building, SA. I don't know what that means. What is this, a stick? Anything else hiding in the bushes? I have a pounder. 
<laughs> Not a hammer, a pounder. Constrictora since 2001. I don't, I don't, I don't know what that means, but I'm gonna just let myself in. Don't, don't, I mean, construction, I guess, maybe? I don't know, let's go inside. Hey, salad de planos. Are you asleep? Can I take that paper from you? Are you asleep? I don't think we should wake him up. Yeah, I'm just gonna dooby 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 doo. Can I access card my way in to, through here? Yes, no, maybe? I think this is not the right card. Can I pound him? <laughs> is there anything else I could do with this guy? No way, he's deeply asleep. I feel like I want that paper. If he sees me, he'll start asking questions. I don't think there's anything I can do here. Let's go to the park. <laughs> I got nothing. There's a, a cat in a tree. I don't know how that'll help me. Can I pound? Oh, good idea, but the cat could get injured from the fall. Oh, I'm gonna pound the tree. I'm gonna put the cushion down. Pound the tree. This cat will be mine. This cat will be mine. Now that the cushion's not in my pocket, I'm gonna put the cat in my pocket. That must have been scary for the poor kitten. Come here. I'll put you in my totally not scary pocket. My totally not scary bag pocket. My crane pocket, I sometimes call it. Well, there's nothing else that I see that I can do. Here, so I'm gonna go to the gun shop. <laughs> Can I just slap $500 in your face and get myself? I want that bazooka. I want to buy two 38 caliber revolvers. I think this will be enough. Why do we need two revolvers? Hmm, you're not right. You are right. This is enough indeed. There you go. All right. I've got a couple of guns. Wait a minute. You're not gonna rob a bank or something like that, are you? Uh, no, it didn't even cross my mind. No, that's crazy talk. Man, you think America's bad. Even in America, you can't just walk into a store, slap $500 into a man's face, and just get two guns. At least not in most places. America's a big country. Tattoos. Uh, I would love to get myself a tattoo of a blueprint. This is, uh, I don't have a blueprint though, right? I need, I need to get a, a, a blueprint first. Why are you so sad? My cat is lost and I feel so sad about it, I can't work. And where did you lose him? The last time I saw him, he was playing in the park over there. We'll have to find her cat before asking her to do anything else. Well, I've got this punk cat. I just realized that it was called Punk Cat. Excuse me, I think this might be yours. Yay! Michi, you're finally home. Now I can work without worrying about you. Great. I still don't actually have the blueprints. So I'm going to go to the bank first. Just in case there's a blueprint here. A teller. I'm not gonna punch the teller. Can I speak to her? I don't need to do that. Fair enough. A teller. Yeah, I don't think there's anything that I actually need to do in here. Maybe I already have the blueprint. Am I good? I thought I needed to get a blueprint. Hi, I need to get a complicated tattoo. No problem, just bring me the model and it'll be ready in no time. Yeah, I don't have a model. You see, the thing is, I don't actually have a model. I assume I need to get that through here. Oh, there's the access card. Oh, it's itty bitty teeny tiny right there, right on his belt buckle. Pardon me, pardon me. Don't, don't know that you didn't, you didn't see anything. Try to grab the access card without waking up the guard. How do I do that? Oh, there's a pair of scissors in the portrait, in this painting. What a crock of crap. I wasn't expecting there to be real scissors in that. Well, there we go. That might, that might just do the trick. There we go. Access card myself. Right on it. Don't mind if I do. I need to get inside get that blueprint. Well, one of these has got to be the one, right? Oh, some blueprints. Check that pile out. Oh god, that's a lot of blueprints. Can I can I weed my way through them? Oh, is that is that it? Is that actually the, what I need? I hope that's what I needed. <laughs> I hope that is absolutely what I needed here. Here's some blueprints. I need to get a tattoo of this blueprints. <laughs> no problem. I'll do it for free since you found my cat. Good, because I just spent all my money on two guns, even though I'm pretty sure I didn't need both of them. Well, Charlie, here you go. I think a blueprint on my back is not going to be particularly convenient. Thanks a lot for the tattoos. It was my pleasure. Did it, did she say, did it say it was going to take me three hours? We can see any of the five tattoos just by clicking on... Okay, great. Great. We've got a map now. I feel like we might have needed more than three hours. Well, this isn't very complicated, actually. Maybe it, maybe three hours would be... Oh, God, there's another one over here and another one over here. Maybe this would have taken longer than three hours to tattoo. I'm just saying. How am I seeing those tattoos? How can I see those tattoos on my back? Like, I can't see what's on my back. All right, well, I've got a couple of guns. We need to get ourselves arrested, so we're going to pretend to rob a bank. Miss, would you be kind enough to put your hands above your head? I don't get it. Why would I do that? Because this is a robbery! Blam, blam, blam! Give me all the money! I should definitely hit the panic button, would ya? 
I'll give you all the money, but first tell me, is that an alien behind you? An alien? She thinks she's being so smart, but I want to be arrested. Freeze, don't move. Oh, oh heck yeah, put your hands above your head. Again, I don't know why I had to buy five gu uh, two guns for 500 bucks if I was just gonna try to get arrested. Oh no, they caught me. I'm pretty sure if I busted into a bank with just like a knife and started waving it around, they'd still arrest me. <laughs> Fortunately, I've got a teleporter map to move around the prison and a to-do list to assure that we get what we need. Is this my to-do list? Oh my god. I need a spoon, a knife, a voice recorder, an Allen wrench, a toad, a small wire, a Coke soda, nursery key duplicate, sausages, foot powder, honey, give Kim a pill, and leather jacket. How did we all know that going into this? Can I talk to this blue-eyed guard? His, his literal, the whites of his eyes are blue. Like, not the iris, but the, like, cornea? He's got blue corneas. Nothing, I just wanted to tell you that the weather is nice today and very pleasant. Don't make me waste my time with that kind of nonsense. What else can I do with you? What, what else do we got? I've got a headache. Could you take me to the nursing topic? I'd like to go back to my cell. How about the headache one? Headache? Hmm, according to procedure 5435, I should immediately direct you to the nursing topic. Follow me. Nursing topic? What is a nursing topic? Nurse's office, maybe? I don't know. Take this aspirin and wait for me here. I'm going to get some water. Do not move or I'll call the guard. I won't, don't you worry. We're definitely gonna move. I need, I need, oh, go, 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 go. Grab this purgative. Grab whatever this pill, is. come on, go. Get the pill, get the pill, get the pill. Oh, there's a key. Get the key, get the key, get the key. Sit down. I think we got. I think we got everything that we needed. Oh, I hope so. Oh, I hope we got what. Hey, where's the key? Oh God. Oh, that's why we needed the d duplicate guard. The inmate disobeyed my order. I think that's the nurse. Oh no. I think that's why we needed the duplicate. Oh, that's a shotgun. Let's go, Whitey. A couple of weeks in the isolation cell. I, that seems strangely racist, coming from another white man too. So, what? If the nurse sees you walking around, you'll end up in the hole. Good to know, but that is how we get back to there. Is there a reason for me to get back to my cell? Back to your cell? What for? I want to have a look at my hair in the mirror. I think the wind moved it a little bit. According to procedure 3454, an inmate can't return to his cell within the break hour just to fix his hair. Stop wasting my time. All right, great. Well, we know how to get to the nurse's station. Station is what I think they meant to say. Topic? No. Station? Yes. Uh, how about this tough inmate? Hey, big guy. What are you doing standing here? I'm watching my phone. Your phone? Exactly. It belongs to me and there's a toll of a dollar to someone who wants to use it. Hmm, I understand. I need to acquire a dollar. Well, I don't see anything else uh, I can do here, but I have my teleporter and we are in the courtyard now. Let's go to Kim, maybe? Hey, Kim, you are in a green cell. But what is this cell made out of? Nylon? Let's not waste time chatting. We can't, he's behind the fence. My brother can't. Well, there's literally nothing to do here as far as I can tell. So we're gonna go to the gardens. Uh, there's a diner apparently in the gardens. I'm gonna go inside there. Maybe get me some food, there's a pen. I would love the pen, there's a window, there's a kitchen here. Can we open the kitchen door? I think we need a key to open it. Okay, fine. I don't have a kitchen key. Uh, oh, that looks like the kitchen key. Hey, waitress, what's up? I need a Coke soda. Do I need money for that? Do I need five dollars? Good afternoon, lady. A good afternoon. How long have you been working here? Hmm, <laughs> let me see. Take your time, there's no hurry. Oh, right, since yesterday. Ah, no wonder your face looked new to me. And what happened to the lady who worked here previously to you? She quit because she won the lottery. Wow, I also do that, no doubt. All right, well that didn't get us anywhere. Is that a UFO out there? A UFO? All my life I wanted to see one of those. You grab the key, there we go. I didn't see anything. I must have seen wrong again. Maybe it was a bird, I'm sorry. Well, that's, that'll do for me. Can I uh, get that Coke? I want a Coke soda. We've already got the key. I know, but what about the Coke soda? It says we need a Coke soda. <laughs> Don't, don't look me dead in the face and tell me that we don't need a Coke soda. Well, maybe we can get one of those in the kitchen here. That's what I'm gunning for. Let me inside. Oh, there's a mouse hole. There's a caterpillar, don't mind if I do. And some sausages that we can probably use on a dog. A jar of honey. There's lots of food stuff. Some cheese, We're gonna make ourselves a Lady Gaga style pizza. There's a spoon, a candle, and I guess that's everything. 
That's everything I think I see here, unless I can use the cheese on the mouse hole to acquire a mouse. Come here, mouse. Got you. You're mine now. I've got a mouse. That's the Ratatouille mouse. What was his name? I don't remember. I don't remember what his name was. Steve? Greg? It was like in Paris, so it might have been some French word. Raphael? I don't know, dude. Uh, there's a frog. There's a frog and a stone. Not a frog on a log, but a frog and a stone. There's a pile of leaves. I will take one singular leaf. What am I going to do with a leaf? Can I like throw the leaf at the frog? Can I mouse? Can I put the mouse on the leaf? What am I doing with a leaf? I don't know. I feel like something will need to be done with that leaf, but I don't know what yet. I'm going to leave for now. I wonder if the caterpillar. Can I put the caterpillar on the leaf? I feel like the caterpillar. I wonder if we need to turn him into a beautiful butterfly. It's possible, but I don't know. That's an, not just an alien. That is a uh, Roger from American Dad. What is he looking at? Some kind of bug? Hey, what's up? What's up, big guy? Can I have your magnifying lens and or whatever you're looking at? Hi there. Hi, Earthling. Are you an alien? <laughs> Why do you ask? Well, your head is bigger than normal, your eyes look weird, you've only got four fingers, and you called me Earthling. Uh, so we're playing detectives now, aren't we? Well, I'm sorry to say, I am not an alien. I'm as human as you. I just look like to make people think I'm from another planet. Eh. I really think you are from another planet. Okay, great. Uh, can I have your magnifying glass? I don't think so. I need it to search for intelligent micro-life form in plants. But so far, I haven't found none. And until I find some, I can't give it to you. I understand. So I need to find some intelligent life. I can't believe it. Look up there. It's a UFO. A UFO. Where? Where? Maybe someone I know. Here, let's put the caterpillar down here. Good idea, but we need to prepare him first. Prepare him? We got to prepare the caterpillar. Okay, so we need to make the caterpillar look smart. Can I draw some glasses on his face? I bet we need to find a pair of itty bitty teeny tiny glasses. That's what I'm going for. Yeah, there's nothing else that I think I can do with him right now. We can go to the wall side. East side, west side, wall side. Hey, an odd looking inmate. Hey, buddy, can I have your hat? Good afternoon, my dear friend who looks basically exactly like me. Greeting, soldier. Why are you not on the battlefield? I'd swear you think you're Napoleon. I am Napoleon himself. Can't you see that? See my hat? <laughs> have you ever heard the old saying, clothes do not make the man? I've heard clothes maketh the man. And have you heard the old saying, it's too dangerous to contradict a madman? Now I see you are truly Napoleon himself. That's right, soldier. That, that didn't get us anywhere. What are you doing here? What, what can I do for you to get you to give me that N hat? I'm watching this wall. It's mine, you know? Yours? That's right. Dennis Rodman gave it to me yesterday in exchange for foot powder. And why would you want to own this wall? Hey, I may be crazy, but I'm no fool. A wall is worth more than foot powder. Wow, you really are a nutcase. There's also a rough patch here on the wall, and I'm not sure what to do about that. I'm not sure if I can just rub my mouse against it for good luck. No? Okay, maybe a pen? No? Okay, I'm just gonna leave. Maybe we can find something to trade. Oh, hey there. Inmate with a weird hairdo. Hi. <laughs> just hi. Hi. Why are you in jail? I was participating in an Elvis impersonation contest, and I got eliminated by a judge. And what did you do? I just stomp his t-shirt. And just because of that, they put you in here? Well, the problem is he was still wearing it. Small detail. All right, sure. Uh, what else we got? Nice jacket. Can I have the jacket? It's a very nice, isn't it? I bought it in Argentina. Nice country. I'd like to have it. Will you give it to me? Impossible. This jacket is special to me. What if I give you something in return? I don't think you've got anything I want more than this jacket. We'll see about that. I've got a mouse. Some sausages. I don't think I do. I don't think I do have anything that important. Can I put the spoon in the honey? Oh, I can. I've got a spoon of honey. Don't know what I'm going to do with a spoonful of honey. Makes the medicine go down. I don't know what I'm going to do with that right now. But there's a couple more places we haven't been to. There's a warehouse. Is there something out here? No? Nothing? I'm going inside then. I'm going in. Uh, oh, there's a bunch of stuff. There's a guitar. Oh, but it's on a string. It's tied up. We need to cut the rope. Can I have the mouse chew through it? Okay, well, there's a plastic shark fin. Uh, some gum. A 2 by 4 Some fresh, what, putty? Fresh putty? Yeah, sure. There's a stack of newspapers. I can't pick that up. A Barbie doll. 
a wire and maybe this clock like a pocket watch is what it looks like i've seen magicians use this kind of clocks to hypnotize people okay sure well can i take the barbie dolls glasses yeah that's what i'm talking about get the glasses on the caterpillar da 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 and I don't, unless I can use the plastic shark fin, I don't think I have anything to cut that wire with. I'm gonna have to go with no on that one, but I will come back to here once we have something we can do. Uh, good old Roger here, I'm gonna go hit him with that uh, UFO trick. That's a UFO up there, quickly, look, definitely don't look at the intelligent caterpillar I've got on the flower here. Look, that's definitely a sign of intelligent micro life. Finally, after many years, I found intelligent life and plants. My mission here is over. And he's being beamed up. Lucky Caterpillar, he'd be traveling across the galaxy. Oh, canonically speaking, Roger was left on Earth and there's no return. Like, like he was he was sent here so that people could get so that the, his species could get rid of him. He doesn't have a working UFO and there's no one coming to save him. Anyway, I've got a magnifying glass now. For what good that does me, I don't know what I'm gonna use it for. Oh, I can oh what did I do? We lost the leaf. What? I didn't even know what was happening. I tried, oh wait, the gardens are over here. I tried to use the magnifying lens on the mouse and I didn't even understand what was happening. Apparently we burned the leaf with it? Apparently? I have a burning leaf. What do I do with a burning leaf? Oh, I can, nope, nope, nothing. What do we do with a burning leaf? I mean, if I need to set the candle on fire, maybe? There, now I have a lit candle. Can I take another leaf? No, we don't need that anymore. I've got a lit candle. Can I put this shark fin on the two by four? Good idea, but we need to put something first to hold them together. How about the putty? How about the gum? Where's the gum at? The gum? Ah, put the shark fin on it, yes. Can I put that down here? Okay. Donna. 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 Donna, na, 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 na. Yeah, you better run, you frog. And he's in, he's, now he's mine. That was one heck of a scare. Okay, well we have a, a toad now. I don't, I don't know why, but we have a toad now. Can I honey the sausage? I don't know. I don't know about that. I'm running out of ideas. <laughs> That's the end of that se uh, sentence. I think I'm gonna have to take two trips, but I've got the pill and the purgative, and as long as she doesn't notice that. Glug, 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 I got some water. That'll relieve the pain, I feel better already. Great, but I have a purgative now, which I can probably put in the sausage? Maybe? Or maybe even the pill. I think the pill needs to go to Kim, but not yet. I don't think it's time yet. What can I give this to? I think I need to steal that key though. You put it in the putty, right? And that way I have like a mold of the key. That's what I think I'm, I need to do. I put the key in the putty, da da, and then I can put the key back in its place sit back in my chair, and I think we're good. I don't think there's anything else here that I need to steal. I guess I could have looked outside the bars. Oh, maybe there's something I can do with the bar. It looks like I can, I can click on it, but I don't know why. Man, I'm taking a lot of medication. This is not, I'm taking a lot of aspirin. Oh no, he says it's not necessary anymore, so I don't need to go back in there. So I have what I need. Now, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with the mold of a key. I don't think I've met anyone that can do something with that, like turn it, into, uh, well, maybe I can combine it with the candle. I need to somehow make a mold. I have the pill to give Kim. I don't think I need to do that yet, but here it is. Kim, take this pill. Don't ask what it is for. Just take as soon as they take you back to your cell. Okay, Charlie, I will. See you. Be careful. All right, well, we've done, <laughs> we've done that. We can cross that one off the list. Oh, have we been to sports yet? No, we haven't even been to sports yet. I'm a dummy, dumb person. Dennis Rodman, hey, what's up, hi. Hi, man. Green hair, you remind me of Dennis Rodman. <laughs> I am Dennis Rodman. I can't believe it, I'm your fan since you played for the Bulls. Yeah, 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 those, those were good times. I've seen all your movies. And which one did you enjoy the most? Space Jam. Yeah, nope, that's not Dennis Rodman. Uh, maybe even a little racist. But then again, maybe not. I Look, uh, I was beginning to ask myself, why would you shave your head like that? Huh, no, no problem. I, I mean, I guess at least Michael Jordan played for the Bulls too. I mean, at least they both played for the Bulls. Can I have your foot powder? 
I think I need to ask for permission. I see you have some foot powder. Well, I'm a size 50 and I have to keep my feet fresh. Are you really a size 50? That's huge. You should have your Snickers custom made. Snickers? Sneakers, you mean? That's not a problem. Nike is still sponsoring me. Well, getting back to the foot powder, can I have it? Hmm, let's do something. If you can score once, the powder is yours. Uh, challenge accepted. Excellent. Grab the ball and give me your best shot. Yeah, this isn't gonna work, is it? Nope. No one can get past my guard. I have to find a way to neutralize his jump. <sighs> I don't know how to do that. I think I need to sabotage his shoes somehow. Okay, well, we've got, what are you? 50 cent, 50 cent, what are you doing here? Hi there. Oh, what's up, Whitey? I'm not comfortable with everyone calling me Whitey. You remind me of a famous singer. It's spelled in the weirdest way ever. Maybe because I am a famous singer. I knew it. Unfortunately, I can't remember your name. Does this 50 cent coin tell you anything? Of course, 50 cents is what I need to make an important phone call. Can I have it? No, now beat it, Whitey. What a temper. Also, don't call me Whitey. Why are you in jail? I didn't commit any crime. Is that so? I just need inspiration for my songs and jail provides just the ideal atmosphere. Oh, interesting. Okay, sure. How long have you been lifting weights? Since I was a baby. Excuse me, but I find that a little hard to believe. It's not very prudent to contradict me. Er, now that I come to think of it, I'm completely sure that you're telling the truth. That's more like it, White. Stop calling me that. Can I take the weight? That's my weight. Don't you even think about taking it. I didn't know that. I'm sorry. Oh, man. I need to lift some weights. I need to get swole. I need to get so swole. I need that 50 coins. Can I, can I, uh, can I clock you? Can I, can I hypnotize you? I need to hypnotize somebody, surely, right? Right? How do I get the weights? Do I need the weights? Well, this didn't really get me anything. This has not gotten me very far. I need to find someone I can hypnotize. Oh my god, why is the mouse working on 50 Cent? Who would say he's scared of mice? Ha ha ha. Is that a reference? Is that a reference? I've got a knife. I'll need that. Uh, 50 cents. A giant weight that we're just gonna put into my pocket. Is 50 cents supposed to be afraid of mice? I don't think you can talk right now. I don't know anything about that. Is that a reference to something? Is that like in a song? Has he said that before? What does that mean? Can I put the weights on your shoes? I'm sure, yeah, I'm sure, I'm absolutely sure Dennis did not notice that. You definitely did not notice that. I just tied your laces to some weights. Man, he wouldn't just come back down. That would freaking murder a man. You cheated, but it was fun and exciting, so the powder is yours. Thanks, Dennis. Also, he's still tied up. I lost the ball, but I have the foot powder now. I feel like if he tried to jump up, that would probably like pull him back down. He'd probably trip and fall forward onto his face. It would not be pleasant. I just noticed that there's a path to go over here. I didn't even see it earlier. Uh, for some reason, Stewie is here and a fat inmate. Also, does Stewie have something on his ear? A bolt, what is that? Guards, guards. What, what are we doing? Why, what, what, what's happening? This inmate is trying to choke me and stab me and kill me. Oh my God, how can I not believe this cute baby? To the isolation cell. You have to get rid of Stewie if you want to look around those benches. Okay, fair enough. Can I do that somehow? Hi, little friend. I'm not your friend. Aren't you too young to be in prison? Look, Whitey. Why are you calling me Whitey? L young as I look, I'm very lethal. Want to try me? Of course not. Lethal, huh? What a cute little baby. I see you're feeling suicidal, my friend. Okay, okay, take it easy. Stewie, you're white. Are, uh, why are you here then? All I did was try to conquer the world. How come? I managed to infiltrate into the ultra-secret military defense system and I activated all the nuclear missiles and programmed them to destroy all the countries. Wow, and how exactly are we still alive? Batman came, deactivated them, and put me behind bars. Oof, thank God. But what that pathetic bat doesn't know is I plan to get back at him the minute I get out of here. This is one scary baby. Uh, can you move a bit? I want to sit. Not a chance. I like this spot and I'm staying right here. What a temper. I don't know how to move you. Hey, buddy. Can we talk to you? Hi, comrade. Hoi. How much How much do you wait? I don't know. So far, I haven't found a scale that's strong enough for me. Poor. <laughs> Poor. You look tired. I'm not, I'm not tired, but you look very tired. 
I'm not tired. But you look extremely tired. You won't convince me of that. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. You look tired and sleepy. Yes, I'm so sleepy. When I count to three, you will sit down. One, two, three. And there he goes. There's still, he's gone. He flew like a bird. Fly like an eagle into the future. Can I take this bolt? I think I need something to screw it out. I tried to use the knife. That didn't work. I have a coin. Does the 50 cent? Yeah, baby. Hmm, I could turn this bolt into a wrench. Now, how are you going to do that? How are you going to turn the bolt into a wrench? I don't even understand that statement. I do want to get back to the warehouse and get this guitar with my knife. I could also shiv a fool. Now that I have the guitar, I should be able to go to the wall side, give it to this guy, and maybe get his jacket. I don't know why yet. I trade you this guitar for your jacket. No way, that's a simple guitar. What if I like wrote an autograph on it? An autographed guitar, there you go. <laughs> Definitely had it autographed by Elvis. I'll trade you this guitar autographed by Elvis for your jacket. Autographed by Elvis? Are you serious? Very, then I accept. There we go. A pleasure doing business with you. And now what am I gonna do with a jacket? I don't know, but I do have the foot powder. Uh, no, that's purgative. I do have the foot powder back. Can I trade you back? Can I give you the, oh, I can use it. Oh, there's something in it. Oh, what did I find? Oh, there's also something here. Oh, there's a couple things in these pockets. What did we find? Oh, we have a coupon worth five bucks and we have a plastic comb. Can I comb my hair? Can I give the jacket to you? Make you look very dapper. Oh, I can put the bolt on the wall. Just a moment, soldier. No one can touch this wall. It belongs to me. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. So somehow I'm gonna use the rough wall to turn my bolt into a wrench. Don't know how that works or what that means, but we need to get rid of Napoleon here and I'm not sure how I'm gonna do it. I feel like he needs the jacket though, right? Like he needs a jacket to put his hand into, like in the pictures. The way I see it, I do have the $5 coupon and I can give that to waitress. Maybe I can get a burger and my Coke. Can I have one hamburger and a Coke, please? Sure, here you go, hamburger, a hamburger and a Coke. Thanks a lot. Now maybe I can put the purgative into the burger. Yes, a hamburger with purgative. And that is gonna be just what I need to maybe get rid of this guy. Yeah, now I can make that phone call. Wouldn't you like a hamburger with extra cheese? I happen to have one extra. Mm, well, since it's free. <laughs> mm, I feel weird. Oh, you're gonna feel really weird for a little while. I'll be right back. Oh, okay. Oh no, and the cat's dead. And dead. <laughs> oh no, okay, well that's great. He won't be bothering us anymore. <laughs> There's also a Monopoly card over here. I'm gonna grab that before I miss it. I'm not sure what the mono can I look at it? Oh, a get out of free jail card. Oh, well, you can probably give that to the crazy guy because he's crazy. I want to give the 50 cents to the to the phone. I don't know what. Oop, that wasn't it. Wait, what did he say? That's a pay phone. We need a coin to use it. I have the coin. What did you say though? That wasn't the correct number. I don't know what number to call. Uh, well, let's come back to that because I think I can use the get out of jail free card on you. Ha <laughs> ha, this is your lucky day. How come? You're going to be released. Released, that'd be great, but how? Here, I give you this official document that grants freedom to anyone carrying it. Sounds too good to be truth. I know, come on, try it. Wow, an official document that grants freedom. I can't wait any longer. I'm going out right now. And we got rid of the nutcase, so I'm gonna, oh, and there he goes. Oh boy, he's gonna get put away for a while. I think we, we went too far. I think we didn't go far enough. Now I'm gonna put the bolt on the rough wall. And now I've got a wrench. We've got the Allen wrench. Now I don't know what we're doing with the Allen wrench. Oh, that might be it. Three, one, one, four. Okay, sure. Three, one, one, four. It was on my tattoo, three, one, one, four. Hi, Ida. Who's Ida? Charlotte, ha, it's nice to hear you. You won't guess where I am. Um, let me guess, at work? Cold? Hmm, on vacations? Warm, somehow? Hmm, in trouble? Hot? I was afraid you'd say that. So what's up? <laughs> Everything's okay? My designs are selling very good in Europe. 
That's good. And what about your family? Everyone's okay. That's good. 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 Very good. Charlie, you sound weird. Is there anything you want to tell me? Remember I told you I was going to need your help? Uh, yeah, uh, now I remember you said that sometime soon you were going to need me to do you a big favor. Yeah, and that time has come. What's happened? Ada, uh, Ada, Ida, listen carefully. I'm in Auckland Prison in New Zealand. Prison? Ida, stop asking questions and do just as I tell you. Okay, Charlie, I will. Come visit me. You'll have to say you were, are my wife to get in. Okay. You have to bring me a portable recorder, the smallest one you can find. Hide it. As soon as we meet, you hand it to me and that's all I need. Okay, Charlie, count, count on me. Ida, please come as fast as you can. Time is running out. Okay, Charlie, I'll be there as soon as I can. Thanks, honey. Oh, that was quick. Charlie, you've got a visitor. Well, that was quick. That's what I said. Ida, thanks for coming. Hi, Charlie, I wouldn't let you down. Did you get the recorder? Sure, here. Yeah, that's good. the guards are just gonna let that happen. Good job, Ida, I owe you one. You don't owe me anything. I don't know what you are up to, but I know everything is going to be okay. Trust me, everything will be all right. I'll see you soon, Charlie. Take care. You too. Great, love it. I have almost everything except the nursery key duplicate. I have the mold. Do I need to bake that in the diner? Like in this oven? Maybe in the microwave? Oh, 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 melted comb. I didn't actually mean to hit the comb. I was trying to do the coke, but yeah, melted comb will do. I've melted the comb. I bet we can put that into the mold. Good idea, but the mold is too fresh. We must bake it to harden it first. I tried to bake it. How do we bake the... I tried to bake it already. Can I go to the gardens? I'm in the gardens. Can I go, go to the diner? I tried to bake it already once. Oh, I can give it to you? I can just give it to the waitress? Excuse me, can you warm my bread? <laughs> sure, why not? Here you go. I don't think microwaving it would work, but who am I to judge? I'm just gonna put my stuff. We have everything we need for the escape. Now let's wait until the break is over. Oh my God. Oh, that was a long break. Break is over, everyone to yourselves. Thank you, please. As I was saying, Patricio, I plan to escape from this prison with my brother who's been unfairly arrested and put into this place. That's why I need your help in exchange. You can escape with us too. What do you say? I'll help you, but I won't escape, escape with you guys since I'm only two months away from being free. Count on me for anything you need. Okay, great. This is the pill Charlie gave me. I don't know what it is for, but uh, he told me to take it now, so here we go. Ah, I feel weird. Keep in mind, we don't even know what kind of pill it is. This is dangerous. I think I hear some noises. We have an emergency with the inmate Kim.com. Apparently, he's got an abdominal pain. He's sedated now. He'll be asleep for the rest of the night, so there's no need to watch him. Roger that. Okay, great. So he's in the nursing station. So if we can get to that, we can get to him. I'm just going to Allen wrench my way through this uh, giant sink, apparently. I think that's it. Can I just take it now? Just take it with me? I'm taking the entire kitchen sink with me. I'm also going to take this blanket. And a pair of batteries, perfect. I can put that in the recorder. Can I record something? I'll record something to make the guard think I'm still here. Yes, I'm just a little tired, that's all. Beautiful, and there's a pillow. Can I combine the pillow, the blanket, and the recorder? Uh, uh, I, don't, I don't know what I'm doing. I need to combine these things. Oh, here we go. I need to combine these things to make it look like it's me, I guess. How do I leave this behind? Do I do I dig into the brick wall? Yeah, that's not gonna work. I need to weaken the cement between those bricks. Now, how am I gonna do that? With honey? With the knife, maybe? Oh, here we go. I think the cement in between those bricks is weaker now, okay. I don't think it would be that easy, but okay. This is it, Patricio. Once I go through this hole, you'll have to keep the guard from noticing I'm gone. I appreciate your help. I hope we see you sometime soon. I wonder if I'm supposed to give him the recorder. Don't worry, I'll take care of that. Good luck. Uh, yeah, we didn't leave him with the recorder, though. 
Yes, I'm just a little tired. That's all. No, the sink, maybe? Oh, here we go. Oh, I'm playing as Patricia. 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 Patricio. Patricio now. Got it. Routine inspection. I'm here to see if everything is okay. Charlie, I see you are in bed early. Are you okay? Yes, I'm just a little tired. That's all. Ah, okay. In that case, I hope you sleep well. Ah, oh, what a what a pleasant guard. <laughs> he bought it. All right, great. <laughs> sure, that, that's that's the thing. Electrical box panel. Sure, there's a ladder back here. It's jammed. Jammed, you say? I've got a knife. There you go. I need something more than my bare hands to cause a short circuit. The knife. I'll just keep using. I can't see what I'm looking at. Well, what am I? A short circuit. The coke. The wrench. The magnifying. The toad. The sausages. The wire, probably. Oh, the wire makes sense, maybe. Uh, something just stopped working. I don't know what. I don't know what we did, but we're causing mischief and havoc everywhere we go. Oh, apparently the fan. Apparently we stopped the fan. Is that Mickey freaking mouse? Oh, I'm, I'm in the fan. Oh, I'm inside. Okay, oh, there's a fly. Oh, to be a fly on the wall. There's also a lever over there. It's too far away. Can I get the toad? We have to use the toad to our favor. Let's think a little. What if we get the honey onto the lever? Yes. Plop. Get the fly to it. Get the toad to jump over to the fly. And maybe, re yes, release the lever. It worked perfectly. Also, why is this series of traps even here? Where are we right now? Is this a hallway? In what universe would this be behind a wall? There's a metal cap. Can I open it? Or do I need to use my knife again? Or we'll just give it the kick. I think we. I need to weaken the metal cap with the coke drink here we go there you go we're gonna rust it with some coke now i to be fair i know that because of this i saw this picture here and we're getting toward the end so i might need to know alan schweitzer soon i don't know how or why but there we go i think i'll stop drinking too much coke yeah coke's terrible for your teeth and just back up the ladder we've gone down a ladder through a fan we're going back up a ladder where are we man Oh, hey there, parrot. I don't think so, he can bite me. Can I talk to the parrot? Hi there, little parrot. Well, first number is six. And there are no repeat, repeated numbers. Oh, okay, first number six, no repeated numbers. I did see here that we can blow some dust or whatever onto that. I don't have any dust. Oh, foot powder, duh, I have foot powder. I'm an idiot. There we go, and then we can take a look at it, maybe? The first one is six, there are no repeated numbers. I mean, there are no repeated numbers, so I guess it's just like 9-0. It could have been 9 it could have been 609, but it's 690, perfect, that'll do. Bingo, bingo was his name Oh, topic. Sure, why not, what is this? What is this lever? I'm gonna pull it. I don't know what I did. Can I get this hose? Oh, I can. It just opens. I thought maybe I'd have to break the glass. I have a hose now. I'm gonna go inside here. Oh, I probably need to use the key. Do I have the key? There's the key. I got my plastic key. All right, big guy. I've got some somniferous. Yes, we always have to have a somniferous. A flask with adrenaline. We'll probably need to use that to wake up our bro. We've got a syringe. And can I put the adrenaline in the syringe, maybe? Yes, a syringe with adrenaline. Wake up, Kim. Kim, it's time to wakey, wakey. Wakey, wakey. Oh, God, please don't explode, though. Kim, brother, it's time to go. I know you're in shock because of the adrenaline, but don't worry. The effect will pass soon. Can I do anything? He's already awake. Great. This is no time to chat. He looks funny. Can I still do something? I can still do something with these bars. I'm not strong enough to break those bars. Oh, maybe Kim is, though. Can I get Kim to do it? I think it's the hose. I feel like I remember the hose. Yeah? And then Kim can just, uh... Yank on it or something? I'm not strong. I know you're not strong enough. I think this guy... Oh, here, here it is. The other end of the hose. There you go. Maybe? No, maybe it needs to go to something else. I'm not sure. Does it need to go all the way out here? Where does this even go? Oh, it's an elevator. Oh. What's the point? We're already on the second floor. What's on the first floor? But we need to do something. Oh, can I put this on the rail? There we go. Put the hose. That's what this is. Hit the number one and then leave and then bounce to get the elevator to maybe do the hose. A 
That's a powerful hose. That's a powerful hose. Normally elevators aren't designed to just keep going down when they meet resistance. We pull those bars out, great. Normally when an elevator meets resistance, it's designed to stop so that you don't kill someone. Kim, jump into this hole and cross to the other side of the court. Okay. I don't think he's big enough for the hole, but oh, there we go. We'll just, just give, him a, give him a push, give him a shove. Oh, that's convenient. Oh God. Oh, oh no. Oh, that's frayed. It's frayed in the middle. Oh, here we go. Are we gonna fall? Easy does it. Careful. Careful. Oh, we're fine. Oh, we're fine. No one even knows a thing. We have to find a way to cross this wire fence. Jumping over this could be dangerous. Oh, that's what the jacket's for, dude. There you go. Ta-da. Oh, and there's some dogs. There's some dogs over there. What's the idea? Feed them to death? Oh, God. Wait, wait, wait. The somniferous. Somniferous. Somniferous sausages. Duh. I just saw the dog guard. The guard dog butts. That was easy. You said it. Charlie, we need a ride to escape now. I know, Kim. I just hope my friend could have come as he promised. What friend? Ida? What friend are you talking about? We didn't talk. Who's this guy? Dominic, I knew you would not let me down. As a Toretto, I always honor my word. You helped me before, now I help you. Let's go fast. They'll soon find out. Fast is my second name. Hold on tight. Who's Dominic? Who is this guy? Nepal, five years later. And we're both wanted now. Oh boy. Look, brother, the police is looking for those guys. I don't know them, but I can tell you they are very good looking. <laughs> it's totally not us. Good work. Holy cow, Kim.com prison. I still don't know who the dot coms are. I don't know who Kim.com is. I don't know who charlie.com is. Maybe I should do some research into that so I had any idea what's going on, but will I? That's gonna do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please do all the things. And until next time, wash your hands. Okay, bye. Man, I really forgot just how long this one was and just how much story there was. I mean, there was basically three parts. We had to break into prison. We had to collect everything for our breakout. Then we had to actually do the breakout. It was like a three-stage act. That's crazy. I forgot how involved it was. <laughs>